Alright guys, I'm going to give you the best corner routine in Football Manager 24. And more importantly, I'm going to show you how to make the most out of it to score bags of goals and turn one of your players into an absolute superstar who you can sell for loads of money just because he scores goals from corners. Now, I'm not here to waste your time. So, if you're on Steam and you don't care what I've got to say, you can just head down below, hit like and subscribe on the way down there, and you will find a description to the Steam Workshop link in the description below. But maybe if you're on console and you actually need to copy this from me, or you want to see how this works and how to make the most of it, let's get going. So far I've run it in seasons with Huddersfield, with Everton and with Brighton, and we're scoring every one in two to every one in two and a half games. So for your one player that you need, you want a guy with super jumping, above 15, 16, 17 ideally, Good solid heading, again 15 would be ideal depending on your level, aggression and bravery. Our best guy at doing this has been this lad, Michael Hellick. He scored 9 goals in 20 appearances for us and then we sold him on for 10 million pounds. <laughs> now this is a prime example of how it works. Our one guy who we're trying to get to score the goal is sat waiting to attack this near post. Everybody else is at the back post, attracting, dragging all the defenders out. The other defenders are dragged to the end of the area, marking these two guys. And our big jumper, he's got a run on the near post defender. So essentially, it's just a one-on-one -on -one with this guy. Who's the best jumper? We are. And he'll score a bucket load of these and win you a load of games. So this is what the tactic looks like. I'm just going to move my head. Our best aerial threat is going to attack the near post. And that's where the ball is going. It's going to be an in-swinger aiming for the near post. The rest of the team are just there to drag players away and give us a one-on-one -on -one or a two-on-one -on -one at that front post where our big lad is going to do the damage. But saying that, these positions actually do matter and you can't just put the rest of the people anywhere. You'd need this kind of organisation to optimise and make the most of the space available to you. So two other aerial threats are going to attack the far post. We've got a box threat that's going to lurk at the far post, keeping all those players deep back behind us away from the main threat. Two creators are going to pick up things at the far side and the centre, again trying to keep the near post free. And then we've got some two guys staying back, one guy staying back if needed, and if he's not needed he'll lurk outside the area at the near post. And that's what it looks like. And if you're looking to score more goals, you've really got to check out this video on what it takes to be a striker in FM24.